hot take, but being a cool person and being a Christian are not mutually exclusive. I don't know where that idea came from and why it appears that you can't have it both ways, but you actually can because to remind everyone, you are meant to be a lamp and to be a light in the world. It's great to have fellowship with other believers, other Christians, and to have that really strong community. But I think as Christians, then there's this energy that like, oh, well, no, everybody has to be like this. I have to hold on to this with a death grip. I can't actually ever leave the boat. I can't go do the things that I really enjoy because then it's going to make me a bad Christian or it's going to make me sin. It's going to make me slip into certain things. And that's not true. Ideally, if your spirit is where it needs to be and you are in deep communion and fellowship with God and other believers, you can handle being in darkness, whether that's the industry you're in or the family you're in or the school you're in or the culture you live in. You can handle being in the darkness. That's the point. It is not to hide the light and to never be around anybody. And ideally, if you're bearing good fruit, your fruit still slaps regardless of whether everybody around you is bearing bad fruit. So you should still have the kindness, self-control, goodness, mercy, grace, forbearance, all the like, and loving your neighbor. You should be able to do that and still be a great makeup artist, still be really great at basketball, still be really into reading, still love to write fan fiction or whatever. Like, You can have your interests, have your personality, and still be a light into this world. And, hot take, that's the point. And I say that because it's very evident all throughout the New Testament that incredible evangelists, apostles, and testimonies came out of the least likely vessels. And I think in today's world, we do trip about the packaging because we're so caught up in works and righteousness and purity and perfection. We don't feel like we can get a great word from somebody unless they go to church as much as we do and they're in their word as much as we are and they're just as committed to God as they are. And I'm gonna be real, I've gotten plenty of great insight from people throughout my life who were not believers because the things that they said to me we're either confirming or challenging things that I was already talking about with God and same with believers. But now I'm still responsible for my relationship with God and how I carry myself, hence what my character looks like on a day-to-day basis. I'm not looking to everybody else to form that for me. I just say that to say you can find inspiration, motivation, insight, and revelation in the most random people and the most bewildering circumstances in the most beautiful ways, if you're open to that. And that's why I'm saying being cool and being a Christian are not mutually exclusive. Because at the end of the day, if your light is so radiant, powerful, and effervescent, it's going to affect everybody, everybody in your radius, which means you just need to know how to have a good filter, know what's for you and what's not for you. Because to think that you're going to continue to develop all these great traits and everybody around you is going to be exactly where you are in their walk and exactly moving how you're moving and that's how iron sharpens iron is absurd. Yeah, you'll have some friends who are equally in that with you, but you will also have friends who really bring the best out of you and they're Muslim and they're Jewish and they're atheist. You're walking with them. And that doesn't mean you are dissing God or that you are out of line or you're not actually holy. Non-believers and believers alike stayed in Jesus's presence. He was always around somebody to the point where he had to be intentional about withdrawing. But at the end of the day, no matter who was around Jesus, he was still himself because he was just a cool guy. Like he was cool to be around. Hot take. That is what we're meant to be. Be cool to be around. Your fruit should be so (laughs) popping. It should be so popping. People can tell that you're different, but it's a good different. And they're curious about that different. So go be a light. Go be different. Doesn't matter the industry. Doesn't matter the school. Doesn't matter the neighborhood or the platform. Go be light. Go be different. Because that is the point of you being here. You're going to go to heaven anyway. So why not bear witness by being cool and submitted at the same time?